whenever I see like a commercial on TV, I look at the motion graphics of that commercial and I like see the background and it's just like a title or a logo on a solid background. I'm like, oh, we're missing some opportunities here. Let's really spice things up. So I took a stab at taking a look at creating some trendy new styled backgrounds right here in After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Slim Duck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. We're gonna break it down into five different background styles and we'll jump in, let's get started. So in our first technique is actually, we're gonna marry two techniques together uh, because they're using the same effect. And this is what I'm gonna call uh, wave animated backgrounds. All right, creating this background style is really easy to do. What we're gonna do is go over to our tutorial composition and every composition we create on is gonna have a preset white solid in here just for our background. So to get started, we'll go up to layer, new, solid. And we'll call this layer waves. And we'll click okay. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that was a black solid. Then let's go to effect, generate, and we're gonna grab uh, radio waves. All right, and first off to start here, you'll see the color. We'll just change this to black right away so we can get that color palette correct. Okay, so first what we'll do is we'll come here to render quality and we'll set this up to 16. And we'll open up the polygon window and where it says sides, we can bring this down. So right now it's actually at 64 if you want circle, but we could bring this down to say like three. So if we scroll through this, you'll see that we'll have a bunch of triangles here. And if you increase the number of sides, you know, you'll get a circle. And if you want to play with a circle, I would increase the curvy size. We'll do a triangle first. And if we want to have more lines in here, we can increase the frequency. As you can see, it has more lines. I'm gonna keep it at 1.2, I like that. And we can spread this out a little bit by increasing the expansion. All right, and then of course you can play with the spin, which will help spin things around. I don't like that. Uh, you can adjust the velocity and play with different uh, parameters here. But for the most part, I really like uh, what's happening here. And you can increase or decrease the stroke width by going to start with and end with. So we can make it a little bit thicker, set the start width to 10 and the end width to 10, and you'll make that as thick as you need it to be. So what else we can do is just bring this layer forward in time. This way, we'll already have everything on here and that will look just fine. You can also increase the lifespan if you wanna have a completely solid line. But for what we have here, we have a really nice repeated background that will come from the center. And like I said, you can easily bring this up to a circle if you want that uh, instead. So that is really cool. But to be able to combine these two techniques together, I'm gonna actually add a nice little out of focus touch to this that will pop in and out of focus. And we'll set this up for the rest of our composition. So in order to create a very nice background that we could overlay, say a title on top of uh, and make it look good, what we'll do is go to layer, new adjustment layer. And I'll just call this effects. And first thing we'll do is go to effect, uh, blur and sharpen, and we're gonna add a Gaussian blur. And we'll set the blurriness up to like nine. And we can all click the stopwatch for blurriness and type in wiggle, open parenthesis two comma 50, close parenthesis. And make sure you put this adjustment layer underneath any logo or title that you have so it doesn't get popped out of focus. So if a quick run preview, you'll see that There'll be a nice little uh, out of focus touch to your background that looks nice but i want i don't want to stop there i want to go back up to effect noise and grain and add a noise and we'll set the noise amount up to like eight percent and this adds a very nice touch to the entire composition and background it makes it seem a little bit more gritty uncheck use color noise of course and that makes a huge difference if you just apply that quick noise effect and then you can just copy this adjustment layer to all of our other compositions if you want to have this and this is what it would look like with a circle background, all the same principles uh, with that nice out of focus and you know noise look applied. So that's two techniques uh, essentially in one that you can apply for animated backgrounds. So for our third animation technique, we're gonna use animated shapes just to add a little bit more uh, detail to our backgrounds. All right, so for our third animated background technique, this is gonna be really easy to do. We're gonna be able to add some random shapes in here that help just bring a little extra detail to our background. Okay, so to get started on this technique, let's go ahead and grab, say, the rectangle tool here. Click on the word fill, set it to none, click OK. Click on the word stroke, set the solid color, and click OK. We'll set the stroke color to white, and we'll draw a perfect square like this. It's gonna be nice and small. And then control double click the pan behind tool here at the top. So that anchor point will be in the middle and makes the animation so much easier. All right, so since we're on a white background, we can't see our white solid. Okay, we'll go to effect, perspective, and we'll add a drop shadow to change that. Now that looks terrible. So what we'll do is set the opacity to 100%. We'll set the distance down to zero and we'll set the softness up to 315. So then you get this nice soft shadow right here. And I like that. 
So what we'll do here is we'll hit P and keyboard for position and we'll all click the stopwatch for position. And we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis, 0.1 comma 500, close parenthesis. So now you'll have a little bit of overall animation going on here. But let's go ahead and hit shift R for rotation and we'll all click the stopwatch for rotation. We'll type in time, asterisk 10. So then it'll be randomly moving around and it'll be rotating and that's super cool and feel free to play with it around with the stroke size and the actual scale of the square whatever shape you want to use so then what we can do is take this layer go to edit duplicate and we can randomly move it around our composition every time you duplicate this all the shapes are gonna move around so you're just gonna have to reposition them uh, as you see fit so we'll go ahead and create just a few copies of this and you can also add other shapes in here so i have full uh solid circles in here that randomly animate around our composition and i want to go back into the previous composition that we did and copy the out effects adjustment layer that we created and i'll paste it on top of everything this way adding that extra level of noise and out of focusness really makes a huge difference in our animated background. So by applying that adjustment layer, everything looks so much better uh, with this very unique and quick background rather than just having a white solid or you know a solid background. We have a little bit of motion shapes in here uh, that make our background or make our title or logo pop a little bit more. And before we move further in this tutorial and reveal more animated background techniques, I gotta give a shout out to our After Effects templates. So this is our extension right here in After Effects where we can preview hundreds of our templates uh, right here in After Effects and we can apply it right into any After Effects project. So after we find a template that we want, we click on apply and it automatically applies a full template to our composition. We can go into that composition and we quickly change out titles and we can come here to our control layer and quickly change out colors. And we have other parameters here that allow us to quickly make changes to the overall template like high titles or other objects and resize elements so it fits perfectly. And everything will fully update in our main composition so we can fully use an animated title that is ready to go. And we can quickly change over to other packs within our extension so we can use our motion graphics starter pack which has over 500 templates in it ranging from title animations, accent motion graphics, animated backgrounds, and more. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time and produce awesome work for your business and clients, you can take a look at any of our After Effects packs. Uh, the links will be below and if you pick up anything on our website, you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much. So our fourth technique is very similar to our previous one, but this takes a little bit of a closer approach to the design. So for the fourth background here, I'm not gonna show how we did the step by step because it's the same exact principle as the previous technique that we just did. Uh, the only difference here is, is the design. Um, and essentially what we did here is I took a white solid circle and put a black solid circle underneath the white one. Same position wiggle that we did. Uh, the only thing I did here at the beginning is I just did a quick scale keyframe of every layer. This way, you know, it'll just kind of be really big at top here. So we scaled it up and I put it down to you know, 180% or 100%. And then I have it all the way scaling all the way down as the composition goes by, just adding a quick scale animation there. But for the most part, this is the same exact principle as the previous one with the same shadow. And you can really create some unique compositions like this by just going up to the tools here, grabbing the ellipse tool and you can draw out a circle make sure that you have your fill on uh, and you can turn off the stroke as well and then just apply that same animation that we did and you'll get this unique animation and in our fifth and final animated background technique we're going to talk about how to create a 3d animated background using lines all right so this last background is really easy to do it's kind of a 3d background and it's really easy so all we're going to do is we're going to come here to the top and grab the pen tool and we'll click on the word fill so it's none click on the word stroke make sure to set the solid color and we'll change that stroke color to black all right all we're gonna do here is zoom out and we'll make this really long so we'll click a point down here hold down shift and we'll go way above our composition so we have the straight line doing this all right nice and long perfect what we can do is grab both these points and move this over that's fine we'll open this up we'll go to add and we'll add a repeater to this okay and we'll open up repeater one. We'll increase the number of copies to go across our composition like this. Uh, you can, you know, maybe open the transform repeater one and you can increase the X position if you want to have more of a gap between that, but I don't really care for this. Uh, you can always decrease the stroke width if you want to make the lines a little bit thinner. All right, so what we'll do here is we'll make the layer a 3D layer by clicking the three layer button. We'll hit R on our keyboard for rotation and we'll come here to say X rotation. We can rotate this X value wise. We can then increase the Z rotation to go in a favorable direction. So maybe we'll go this way. Um, and then we just hit P and keyboard for position and we'll just reposition this so 
it fits perfectly where we're at. So we'll go back to our shape layer, we'll open it up, we'll go into the shape one, and we'll make sure we'll click on shape one. We'll go to add, and we'll add a wiggle paths. All right, and we'll open up wiggle paths one, and where it says point, set this to smooth, and we'll set the size up to 700. All right, and now you'll have a very wiggled background. I don't like it. We'll set the wiggles per second to 0.1, and we'll increase the random seed by a little bit just so we can get like a favorable, you know, random number here. So this is good. I like this. We might need to hit PR and keyboard for position, and you know, we'll move this over. Nice. So I applied that original effects adjustment layer like we have been for the rest of our composition. But one thing I want to do for this. Uh, to kind of help bring more attention, say, to a title because you have all these leading lines here. What I want to do is create another adjustment layer and we'll go up to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and we'll add a quick Gaussian Blur to everything and we'll increase the blurriness up to like 20 or so. Check on Repeat Edge Pixels and put this adjustment layer underneath any titles that you may have. And then what we'll do is we'll grab the Ellipse tool and we'll just draw out a really weird ellipse like this and we'll set the mask to subtract. Then we'll hit F on keyboard for mass feather and we'll feather this like crazy. This will create a very nice depth of field uh, around everything here. And we'll make sure we put this underneath our effects layer as well so we get that grain that we had. And that adds a very nice smooth focus onto whatever is in the center. And that is really, really cool. When it's all said and done, you'll have this unique animated line background that's slowly animating and you of course increase the speed by uh, adjusting the wiggles per second uh, with the wiggle pass effect. So that showcases our tutorial on creating these five animated trendy, you know, whatever you want to call them, animated backgrounds right here in After Effects. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.